Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Bill. We're going to be in Dungeon Crawl Classics for this video. Uh, this will be on morale, how it's used in Dungeon Crawl Classics. I know I've done one in Basic Fantasy and I thought I did one in Dungeon Crawl Classics, but I haven't looked through, so here's a new one. Not all monsters fight to the death. Some flee or surrender. Monsters, retainers, and non-player characters, NPCs, make morale checks at certain times in battle. This determines if they stay to fight or retreat to live another day. Player characters never make morale checks. Their behavior is up to the players. A morale check is made at these times with a group of monsters when the first creature is slain and when half the creatures have been killed or incapacitated. So with a group of creatures, you're making two morale checks. When the first one in the group's killed and then when half of the group's been killed. With a single monster, when it has lost half its hit points. I would probably do that a little differently with a single monster, depending. If it's a monster that's hunting, probably when you've done a quarter of its hit points, it would make a morale check. And if it's still willing to fight when it loses half would be its second morale check. Uh, with a retainer, so an NPC that is hired by you to go on adventures with you, when the first encounter of com encounters combat or danger, i.e. a trap, uh, in each adventure and at the end of each adventure. So a retainer might lose his morale after the adventure and not want to adventure with you anymore, is what it's trying to say. The morale check is made by rolling 1d20 and adding the creature's will save. A result of 11 or higher is a success. The creature can keep fighting. On a 10 or less, the check is failed. The creature attempts to flee the combat. Retainers also add their employer's personality modifier. In some cases, the DC may be higher than 11, particularly when magical effects are involved. The judge, so the game master, may apply a modifier of up to plus four or minus four to the check if the creature has sufficient motivation to fight or flee. For example, a mother defending her cubs would receive a plus four bonus, as would a goblin shaman defending his sacred shrine. However, a goblin slave willing to see his ogre overlord slain might have a minus four morale modifier, as would a mindless giant centipede that just wanted food, not a fight. Some monsters are immune to morale checks. Automations, animated statues, golems, and other mindless creations do not fear death and thus do not make morale checks. The same is true for unintelligent undead, such as zombies and skeletons. So, essentially, anything that could think for itself would be allowed a morale check. The automations, the skeletons, zombies, and stuff can't think for themselves, so they would not be allowed a morale check. Um... And I like the plus four and minus four and the examples they're given there on why they would get that modifier. So, what do you all think of morale? What do you all think about the morale checks? Is it something you would like to implement in your other games as well as just use them in general for a lot of combats? It's very easy to see how it works. And I do use that sort of in my Pathfinder games, but I think I'll use this a little bit more actively in my Pathfinder games. I'd like to hear what you all think in the comments below. Until we all game again, guys.